What's up, man? Grab a beer. Man, I don't have time for this right now. What's up? Can I borrow your car? No, that's something to eat. Hey, how's it going? Man, I really need to get going. Hey, who are those guys? Man, where is your car? Behind that? Why? Where do you need to go? I gotta get to this cabin up on the river. It's about a half a mile north of here. There's a trail back by the woods along the lake. I can meet you behind the house? No, man, I got it. I got it. Hey, it's okay. I already ate. Dude. Which way is north? So when were you gonna ask me? Ask you what? What I did? I know what you did. You did something stupid. Here's the fire pit. We're almost there. So how bad was it? it seemed like a good idea at the time. Always does. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Yeah. Look, I was just trying to help a guy out, okay? He was getting screwed over at work. I just wanted to help him out. The guy we're gonna go see? Well, the guy we're not gonna go see. He lives in that farmhouse right up there, but I changed my mind. What happened? Well, about a week ago, they sent over this consultant that they hired and he wanted to meet me at a restaurant. Wait! Did you hear that? You got any rope? No. We can't leave him here because if he gets up, he's going to come right back after us. Well, if he gets up again, then we'll just hit him in the back of the head and we'll be good to go, right? I have no idea who this guy is. What about the people at the party? Did you know them? No, I didn't know them either, but I'm pretty sure they were looking for me. <sighs> I don't need to keep it, you see. I merely need to look over the device. Yeah, I don't know if that's such a good idea. You have it back in the vault by Monday morning, and no one will be any the wiser. My name belongs on that patent. My work went into that device. They stole my ideas. I don't know, this whole thing just seems really shady. I mean, I'm taking a huge risk. Never mind. I'll ask somebody else. Wait, just wait. I didn't say that I wouldn't do it. You want more money? So what kind of consulting do you, uh... I mean, what is it exactly that you do? I'm Daniel Carson, telepathy expert. So you didn't go through with it? No. I got this far and every step of the way it just smelled like a worse idea. So I called him on my cell, told him the deal's off, I'll give you the money back, and I thought we'd be square, but... Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, right. So he told me if I don't deliver the package that they're gonna come after me. So what'd you do? Well, I didn't want to get caught with it, so I stashed it. It's right over here. So what's in it? I don't know. It's all right, if we come clean now, it'll be better off. Tell you what, you keep an eye on him. I'll go talk to her. Maybe they'll cut you some slack because they knew you were being threatened. Yeah, maybe. Okay? Whoa, officer, everything's okay. We just gotta explain a few things. Yeah, come on, we're over here. Dave, it's cool, man, it's the cops. We're gonna figure this all out. That's not a real cop! Stop! 
Man, that was tough. She kind of looks like your mom. At least she's got handcuffs. <laughs> the box. Man, the box is gone. <sighs> This thing set too high. The box! Yes, thank you. I've always wanted one of these. Shoot him. Freeze. Slap him! What? Slap him, it breaks the connection. Ow! No, slap him! No, I'm fine. It must have worn off. We're from the company. We knew he was up to something. But we didn't know he had help. How much trouble on my end? Well, a lot. he could have had you under his mind control. No, I need to take what's coming to me. That's one. Sorry. <laughs>